Hey everyone, so before we begin with our video, we would like to make a small request. Kindly subscribe to our channel and like the video if it helps you and also share it with your friends who may benefit from the same. So hey guys, in this video we'll be showing how to mathematically model a boost converter using MATLAB Simulink. So before going to the Simulink um, video, we'll just, I mean, it's in the end of this video. So if you guys want to go right to the Simulink, so you can skip ahead. But if you want to know the equations that we'll be modeling, um, you can watch the introduction into the beginning part of the video. So to begin with, this is the simple equation. This is a simple diagram of the boost converter and the voltage across the inductor is given by L D I L by D T and I L is equal to I S in this case. And the current that flows to the capacitor is equal to C D V C by D T where V C is also equal to V naught, which is output voltage and uh, yeah, voltage across capacitance is V C. Now, so the main equations are these six equations, equation three to eight, they're got from the on state and off state. So V L is equal to V input star the P W M V L is nothing but the inductance voltage is equal to the input voltage into whenever the duty cycle is high that is whenever the PWM output is high and VL is e also equal to V input minus V output into PWM where PWM the not of PWM so when the PW when it's an off state so when the switch is on it's just PWM when the switch is off it's PWM bar so and the PWM is given by V output minus V input divided by V output whole into frequency of the PWM inverse and inductor current is given by IL integral of VL DT and capacitive current is equal to inductor current minus the resistive current this can be seen in the off state so current flows through the inductor and once it uh, once it stops flowing through the inductor it goes to go goes to the diode and then goes to the load and what doesn't go to the load goes to the capacitor so capacitive current is nothing but the inductive current that's the whole current minus the resistive current and voltage across the capacitor is equal to 1 by c integral of i c d t so these are the three these are the six main equations that we'll be simulating and now we'll go to the simulink model so we'll take a constant block and we'll name it as input voltage and it will be 12 volts We we'll need another constant block. We we'll name this as inductor value. Um, we we'll need a pulse generator to provide the PWM pulses. We we'll need a switch. So you saw that PWM and PWM bar, right, in the equations. So we'll be using the switch for that. We we'll need an input sum block. The pulse generator will be connected to the middle portion of the switch and the input pulse in the sum output of the sum block will be given to the other end of the switch and we'll also need a divide block so you have 1 by l integral of 1 by l so for that we need a divide block and the constant value will be 120 e to the power of minus 6 for the inductor 1 is done we need an integrate block we need a product block with a not gate to the other end which gets connected to the pwm generator so if you can relate all this to the equations that we discussed earlier and towards the end of the video after simulating the whole buck converter i will show you what stage of the model is what part of the equation so that we can measure the inductor current and things like that as well so capacitor will be 48 e power minus 6 and you will it's 1 by c so integral of 1 by c would give you the voltage so you need another integrator before the capacitor and now you need another divide block so now we'll provide the divide block with the resistance 
and now we need a display block to measure the output voltage so when you so the pickup point that goes into the sum block is actually the voltage of across the load and the voltage of the capacitor so we'll name it as output voltage so when you divide it with the resistance you will get input current output current that's load current so the time period is 1 divided by e to the 25 e to the power of 3 where 25 e power 3 is the switching frequency and you also need to provide 60 percent as the duty cycle we'll do it 60 first and then we'll do it 50. so let me just run this okay so we're not getting the desired output so the mistake here is that i have not changed the resistance value so we're taking a resistance of 50 ohms yeah so as you can see the output voltage is 30 30 volts so if you use the bo uh, boost converter formula for duty cycle of 0 0.6 and an input voltage of 12 volts you will get 30 around 30 volts so let's just name it as load resistance so to avoid any confusion now let's just run the model again so we changed the duty cycle to 50 and as you can see that it's around 24 volts so this is the desired output voltage and the load current is 0 0.78 so 24 divided by 50 is around that region so what we'll do now is we'll so once now this is done check the other parameters as well such as the capacitor current and the yeah, other parameters in general and the voltage um, across the inductor so we'll just take display blocks and i'll name it so that there's no confusion so this is this will be inductor voltage or voltage across the inductor so yeah so you can correlate it with the equations that we had done in the beginning of the video now the integral of the voltage across the inductor will give you the inductor current The product of 1 by L and the integral of that with the voltage across inductor will give inductor current. Now this would be the capacitor current at this point and now let's just run this to see what are the output values. So these are the output values that we get. They would fluctuate as the when as and when the switching happens and there's discharge and charge of the capacitor and the inductor so that's about it for this video if you guys do have any queries kind of drop in the comments comment box below do like the video as it will help the youtube algorithm and more people could reach to this video kindly like this video subscribe to our channel and we'll see you soon thank you